when you're using Premiere Pro or any editing software for that matter. You want to do as many different things as possible without being inhibited at all. You don't want to be held back by only knowing how to add footage, arrange them, and then render them, right? You want to have as many skills in your toolkit that you can use so you can edit faster and create the work you want to do. So linking layers is one of those skills that can help you creatively problem solve a whole bunch of issues that you may run into while editing. For example, maybe you want to unlink link two layers from each other. And in this video, I'll explain exactly what a layer actually is and why you would want to link or unlink a layer at any point in the editing process. My name is Tia and I want to help you get great at video editing so that you can share your creative gifts with the world. If that sounds great to you, I would love it for you to subscribe, hit the post notification bell to never miss a new video. In Premiere Pro, you have an audio layer and a video layer as the default when you import any piece of footage into Premiere Pro. So unless the video has no audio at all, or you decide to drag the video from the preview monitor with no audio, just a picture, or vice versa. In 90% of cases, when you do decide to bring a piece of footage that you've imported into Premiere Pro onto your timeline, it will be a video and an audio layer. As long as you're speaking like I am to a camera and your camera's recording audio and it's also recording picture, when you import this video into your software and then drag it to your timeline, you're gonna see a video layer and an audio layer. And by default, these two layers are automatically linked to each other. What does that mean? Well, it's like a magnet. You put a magnet on a surface, it automatically links to that surface and that's that, but it's even tighter than that. It's like glue, glue that can be removed though. So like your video and audio layer are completely attached. That's why my audio is syncing with the picture. When I speak, the word that I'm saying matches what you see on screen. It's not like there's a delay with the audio and a delay with the video because then, I mean, it would look kind of like this and then that's just awkward. So usually they're linked automatically in Premiere Pro and you can click on the video and audio layer to test it right now. See, linked. The only reason why they wouldn't be linked is if the link layers icon is turned off. Where is that icon? It's right here on your timeline and it kind of looks like a hamburger. So as long as you have this turned off, so you click it to turn it off, you can see now that the layers have been unlinked. And you can see that if you click on the layer, only one layer highlights versus both of them highlighting at the same time. So if I turn it back on, they both highlight at the same time when I click on the footage. So this is actually the first method on how to easily link and unlink footage in your timeline. Let's say you want to keep the hamburger icon on or the link layers icon on. So you don't want to keep toggling it on and off while you try to link and unlink layers, right? Well, there is a faster way to do that. So how you do it is you select the video by just dragging a selection over it, or you can hold shift and click on the video. And then what you're gonna do is you can go to clip at the top there and select unlink or link, depending on if the video is already linked or unlinked. Or another option is you can right click on the selection and select link or unlink, again, depending on whether it's linked or unlinked already. And then the final method to quickly link layers, and the method I always recommend is to learn a keyboard shortcut, and I believe the default one is Command L. So if you click Command L, it will link or unlink. And if your keyboard shortcut for some reason is not Command L, you can go to Premiere Pro at the top of your software and look for keyboard shortcuts and map it to Command L or another keyboard shortcut of your choice. That is the fastest way to link and unlink individual video layers. Wait, there's more methods? Oh, oh yes, there are. So now let's say you have two videos on a timeline. We're getting more complex, we're adding more to our story. We wanna have multiple pieces of footage, okay? Not just one clip, two clips. Maybe not just two clips, 50 clips, whatever you want. But you've decided that, you know what? For some reason, you wanna link both the videos together. You don't wanna just link the layers individually. No, you wanna link both individual video clips together. Now, why might you wanna do that? Well, maybe it's just easier for you to not have to worry about constantly highlighting the clips dragging them across your timeline, putting them in a different area of your video, and then you're worried the video might get off sync or you might lose this clip or for whatever reason, 
you want to stay organized in your editing project. And so the way you stay organized is by linking these two together permanently, temporarily, what have you, whatever floats your boat. And if you're interested in more ways to speed up your editing, make sure to like this video because I've got a whole bunch of other tricks up my sleeve. Either way, here's how you do it. Now to link two videos together, you're actually going to group them together. In the first part of this video, we linked two individual audio and video layers together and we also unlinked them. Now to group two separate videos together with their corresponding picture and audio layers, what you're gonna do, you're gonna highlight your footage or you can hold the shift key and click on both videos. And then you're gonna right click on the selection and click on group. You can also highlight these two videos and go to clip and select group to group the two videos together. And as you'll see, they're now linked and you can move them across your timeline together. This is different from linking because linking layers essentially just links two individual audio and video layers together. Whereas grouping allows you to link not only the layers, but also the whole videos together. And that's it. That's how you link layers. It's one of the very surprisingly useful tools that will come up in your editing process. I almost always end up linking or unlinking layers to either work faster or to move video layers around or away from audio layers or delete the audio layers and just keep the video layers, like whatever the situation, because the options are actually endless. If you enjoyed this video, I would appreciate it if you could share it with your friend, spread the word, share the love, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram for more updates on the next editing tutorial. See you next Thursday.